Bowman on the left-hand side. Here we go, round one, the heavyweight championship of the world is at stake. Let's watch and see if Bowman comes on strong. To this point, Norton has thrown the only punch, a light left on taken on the gloves by George Foreman. Wild left hand over the head of George Foreman. Both fighters exactly the same size. Foreman slightly heavier, about seven or eight pounds heavier. Norton and Foreman both six foot three inch. On the right hand side of your screen is the champion Foreman. On the left hand side is Ken Norton. Norton in blue, Foreman in red. Round one, just underway in Caracas, Venezuela. Foreman showing the concentration. Foreman looks a little bit more patient than we've seen him. He knows he's got a fight cut out for him because he's in against a real big fella. Foreman goes out with that light left taken on the shoulder by Ken Norton. There's the pushing tactics. Foreman starting rather slow, feeling Norton out. Norton, and that won't call it a classic style, but certainly the style of dragging that right foot behind him. Vicious left hook was over the head of the champion. Boxing, Timmy. Boxing, Timmy. Pretty good straight left hand thrown by Foreman, taken on the face and a right hand to the kidney. That's a punch you've got to watch out. There's a good left hand, the best right that we've seen. Foreman pushes down on the head of Norton and landed a right hand, straight left hand to the face of Ken Norton. Both fighters, the best punch is their left hook. There's the right, right hand again to the kidney. Right Right of Kenny Norton. Norton takes a light left, throws a right of his own. One minute remaining in round go. one. Go, Very up. even first round at this point. Light left hand taken, wild right hand, another left hand taken on the gloves by Norton. Hey, Norton go. scores with a left hand to the side of Foreman's head. Left hand miss, and left jab in the face of Foreman. Light left on the forehead. Pretty good left hand on the forehead of Ken Norton. is back up against the ropes. This is where he can't afford to stay. He slips the punch and slides around to his left. Very important type of movement. Norton hanging on with that left hand and tries to throw that wild right hand to the body. Foreman is not a great boxer. He's a great puncher, though. Norton is a good boxer. As Foreman comes in and tries to hold up, Norton backs up. Nine seconds remaining in this round, the first round. Foreman kind of feeling out Norton. There we go, the opening round of the heavyweight championship of the world in Caracas is history. Mohammed, what did you think of the first round? Just like I thought it would be, Ken and Norton boxing, George Foreman not throwing all those hard punches and punching him out easy like he did Joe Frazier, because Ken and Norton's a great fighter. Any man that goes 12 rounds, 24 rounds with me, it's got to be great. And ain't no George Foreman, who's still a good amateur, going to destroy Ken Norton because I couldn't do it. And I'm proud of what Norton did because it shows the world that Norton is a great fighter. That's George Foreman we're watching. He hardly looks like he's built up a sweat yet. That's the fact he won the Napoleon Hill Award for Positive Thinking, a foundation award. Here we go, round two, the heavyweight championship, Caracas, Venezuela. George Foreman, Ken Norton on your left. Now watch Foreman try to cut off Norton in the corners, but Norton is working the left jab much better as he slips a punch and out of that corner. This is what Norton must do. Long right hand that lands just on the left-hand side of the head of Foreman. Norton tries to jab. Foreman holds those hands up and tries to push. No damage done there. Foreman pushed that away. Foreman will try to push and he'll push his man down with his left hand and then throw the right. Foreman, see him trying to cut Norton off on the corners. Kenny Norton has got plenty of boxing experience. 24 rounds with Ali is a master's degree in boxing in any man's school. This is what he can't do. He can't mix it up with Foreman inside. The referee, Jimmy Rondo, separates the fighters. First real clinch of the fight. Round two, scheduled for 15, the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, good, good right hand on the left-hand side of the face of Norton. Norton is a bit stunned as Foreman is teeing off. And it looks like Norton has really been staggered as he went up against the ropes. The referee is giving it the count. Yes, he'll have to take the eight count. Okay, seven, eight, and here we go as Foreman comes banging on in the second round. Norton goes down again. A left hand on the side of the head. Norton goes back. He'll have to take another eight count. No, he doesn't. 
His legs are rubbery as a left hand goes to the side of his head. A right uppercut, a left jab, and a vicious left sends Norton crumbling to the canvas for the second time. Norton is in Queersville. He doesn't know where he is. It's up to five, six. I don't know if Norton can make it. It might be all over right here. It's up to nine, ten, and they are they going to continue it or are they going to stop it? It looks like it may be all over, and it is all over. George Foreman retains the heavyweight championship. Fighters, first real clinch of the fight. Round two, scheduled for 15, the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, a good, good right hand on the left-hand side of the face of Norton. Norton is a bit stunned as Foreman is teeing off, and it looks like Norton has really been staggered as he went up against the ropes. The referee is giving it the count. Yes, you'll have to take the eight count. Okay, seven, eight, and here we go as Foreman comes banging on in the second round. Norton goes down again. A left hand on the side of the head. Norton goes back. He'll have to take another eight count. No, he doesn't. His legs are rubbery as a left hand goes to the side of his head. A right uppercut, a left jab, and a vicious left sends Norton crumbling to the canvas for the second time. Norton is in Queersville. He doesn't know where he is. It's up to five, six. I don't know if Norton can make it. It might be all over right here. It's up to nine, ten, and they are they going to continue it or are they going to stop it? It looks like it may be all over, and it is all over. He hit Ken Norton just like he do all his opponents. Caught him out. I mean, he is hard, but if the man can stay out of the way for five rounds, stick him, move, stay out of range, be in good shape, he'll retire George Foreman. This man depends on getting his man in the first one or two rounds. If he don't do that, he's frustrated. Stick him with left jabs and right crosses, tie him up and box him, and you'll retire. Now, I'm going this man is going to whoop George Foreman, and I'm going to whoop him of all places in Africa, in the Congo, where the Lumumba boys are. Dolly, now that you have your fool about you and you calm down at this point, I want you to answer this question. How could that man go 24 rounds with you and only two with the heavyweight champion of the world? Because George Foreman is not as good of a fighter scientific as I am, but I admit he's stronger and he hit harder. I'm not a hard puncher. I'm not known for being a hard puncher. I fought many men like Floyd Patterson, Zora Foley, George Fowler, who are stronger than I am. Many I couldn't knock out, Sonny Liston. But I'll tell you this, boxing ability, speed, whooping him on points for the distance if necessary. Then I'll whoop him. Well, fight in your home territory. You couldn't be any happier the way this is coming up in September. Why would you call Africa my home territory? You've been telling me that for 10 years. That's right, and if you come over there talking like that, we'll cook you.